In this video, we'll customize the dialog to look like this. I've created a project called Dialog Customization. It already has the code for side image. The side image is a tutorial I previously made. So we already have Zale showing and I am happy, I am angry, and I am bored. Let's start with the background. We can find that code in the scene. Let's go to the runtime launcher and go to script.rpy. I believe I haven't imported my images, so let's just do that. By the way, this is our guide. This is what we're trying to do. Let's copy this and go to our images folder. I just put a BG pink there and change this to BG pink. Start. The BG is now pink. And let's change this background. Shift I. So we have the screen quick menu that is this one here. We also have our screen say, that's the dialogue we saw here. The code has a say window style. So it has a background that is GUI slash textbox.png. If we go to our folder, we'll find a GUI folder containing a text box. We have to replace this to replace the background again let's just copy paste our text box and see this so this is what it looks like copy and paste it here make sure to replace and return return shift r to reload and there you have it we have our background set we want to move this closer to the center so let's hover over it shift i and it says we have a say dialog in screens rpy we want to read the code so let's go to 111 for the say dialog we want to change the expos the current expos is 402 let's just hard code it here so that it will be easier to see so for 102 we want to move it to the left side so around 450 or let's say 500 for now so the text already moved i think it's too close so we want it to be around 550 just to give an offset okay we want to move this text the say your name in name box we can move it expos let's see what's the value it's 360 so any value larger than that 360 let's add 150 also 510 so chef r you want it to move up if you want it to go up you want it to be negative so the y position is gui name y pos is zero we want it to go up so we want it to be around negative 100 or 200 maybe okay i think that's a good position for now i want this to be a longer text just to test it so let's change the text to lorem ipsum here we can see that our expos changed but our width here is of the background so what we want to do is change the x size of this uh let's go to screen and in our say dialog we have the x size so x size is the horizontal size you can see that the value is 116 again let's deduct around 100 so maybe change this to 1000 it doesn't fit yet 850 and there you have it let's test this using another text so the alignment is here and we want it to move up that would be y pos so for the y pos we have a value of 75 and we want it to be lesser than that so that it would go up because for y going up is negative so we want this to be around negative 100 
or negative 200. Still too much around negative 50. And there you have it. We have it on the center. Let's compare this with our current design. We should have a background for the text. So we can see here that the name box has a namebox.png as its background. So if we go to GUI and we'll see here that we have a name box, this one, and it's transparent. That's why you couldn't see anything. Now let's copy paste again our name box. Okay, so it's compressing inside the text and we don't want to compress it. So instead, we want to change the X size and the Y size as our image size. Let's go to properties and details we have here 273 by 199. 273 is the width, so we'll change X size to 273. We have to do the Y size, this one, and this will be the 189. So for the X pose, you can say negative 40 if you're too lazy to do the math. Yeah, so it's there and we want the text to be aligned. According to this one, our name box is the say label. So we already have a say label style and we want it to have a X align of centered because we want it to be centered inside the box. So let's just change this to 0 0.5, which is center. So now the text is centered around the name box. I won't be precise with the layout too much, just the important things. So this is what it looks like now, but we want to center this text. We can do that by changing the dialog text align can go 0 0.5 this is under gooby.rpy and it's it's supposedly to be centered so we have to remove one code which is the x post so now this is centered horizontally and we just want it to move down a bit so we want this to be positive or increasing okay this looks better and if you go to the next text we have this here now let's copy the text on the mac op the text is here. We want this to be white and a larger text. Now let's do shift I and we have our text here. It's on say dialogue. So first let's change the color to white. So if we reload, we'll see that our color is white. And if we want to have a larger font, so we can say size and 40. As always, thank you for watching my videos and please don't forget to like and subscribe. This will help my channel a lot, so every like is appreciated. We have the save, load, and main menu. This is the one and we want to remove this. So let's do shift I. This is under screen quick menu. We have it in this code. Let's go here to 50. Here. So we have back history, skip, auto save, and others. Yeah, here. And we only want to have save, load, and main menu. So let's skip the save. Let's just do preference since it goes to the main menu anyway. So we can say here load, and this one will be load. So instead of main menu, let's just go with preference. Save, load, and prep. So we want this to go higher. This is inside an H box and has a style prefix of quick. So anything quick here is related to it. Pause. Y offset. So that we just want it to move up. Okay. So save, load, and preps is here. So let's just change this to be small case. Let's also change the font size. Again, in the quick button text, we just want to change the size to be around 30. A bit smaller than the actual text. So we have it here. And if you want to change the spacing, you can do so by 
spacing for this. So we've changed the spacing. Let's change the font finally. I have fonts created here. Let's copy paste them. And let's go to our folder. Game. I'll create a new folder for the fonts where I will be storing it so that it will be clean. Let's just copy and paste this letter regular. I want this to be for the text fonts. And we want this one to be just OTF. We want it to be fonts OTF. So we've changed the font for the name text and the text font. And as you can see, the font also changed. So the side image is actually smaller here. We want it to be larger. Let's go to the side image code. Do shift I and we'll see here that we have a side image in 117. Let's go to 117. Around here. Okay. okay. So the code says if it's not for the phone, there is a side image. We want to change the zoom. We want it to zoom to be bigger. So we want to increase the zoom value. The default is 1. So there you have it. It's now much larger. And we want it to go down a bit. So we want to change the Y offset to around 100. So there you have it. We have our UI. And can go start. And change this. Maybe put this down a little bit when you're designing your ui or maybe don't have a text that's too long depending on what you prefer i'd like to thank this month supporter your help will take this channel a long way